ever so slightly closer. Yep. Even if he trades and hits both of them with a forward air or something, that's way better than Espat just getting KO'd. Yep. See how this goes. Oh, man. All right. Final destination. Ah, oh, I see a distinct oh. difference oh. in the composition. Damn, this is this is gutsy, dude. Oh, the Pubat team. This is this is gutsy. This is a gut and a half. It's like what we were saying earlier. It's just the the highs might be higher, but the lows might be so low. So low. This makes sense from the point of view of when you think oh. about. Oh. Uh, and so oftentimes uh, I, that was. Probably Pew Pew that this side, by the way. Pew Pew usually wears the fat tag and s -Fat wears the Pew tag. Mm. They kind of, you know, they, they switch it up. Because it's kind of like they want to pay attention to their teammates, so s -Fat wants to think about Pew Pew. Anyway, what do you think about the way Pew Pew uh, play, plays these characters or these players in singles? He goes Fox uh -huh. against certainly Yoshi and oh, oh, what a shine. That was a godlike anti edge guard from s -Fat. Wow. So yeah, I don't know. PB maybe just wants to run it back to with the, with the characters we're confident with. And wow, Yoshi actually interrupting the kill there. Yoshi, yeah. did, I don't know why he was throwing out a, a hitbox above the, the the up smash kill. Maybe he wasn't uh, aware of the percent. He thought he needed to tack on another hit. Right. Good placement, but yeah, definitely broke up the kill. Yeah, I I see what you're saying. PB would go these would go fox against these characters. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess in the uh, the winner side set, even if PewPew was living, he wasn't doing as much. He was just like the stock tank, but maybe not converting as much or getting. Well, he was piling on damage, but th they were losing kill power for it. Right, 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 right. That's that, that makes sense. Yeah, that's fat. I think tried to shine it towards the stage such that PewPew could tech the stage, but uh -huh. oh and. Uh, and S Fat missing the running up smash there. Yeah, I you know right now it's just kind of not working out. They're not playing as clean as they need to. Yeah. And even though they have theoretically better kill power, it feels like they just don't have as much presence. Mm. Oh wow, Thunder not killing off the top. Fox falls so fast. Oh wow, wow. And yeah, with uh, oh oh my God, what a geez. save! Let them air dodge twice. That was phenomenal. Oh, man. Huh. Yeah, he's at low percent, so he Omsa can just jump able to, to just counter punch, yeah. Down tilt, and here's Amsa. Oh. Wow. Clean edge wow. guard from Amsa. I, yeah, I, I don't think there's any reason not to have Vax just clean it up. Uh, they, this isn't working. This just is not working. In theory, I can see it working, but, um, just any tiny little mistake is so much worse yeah. than your double fox. I think so. Just so much more painful, as we saw. Like, Amsa just cleaned out that stock while uh, Axe was distracting the other fox. Ooh, ballsy. Ballsy, running at double fox. To the stadium. All the way to stadium. They're saying, you know, the characters weren't the problem. It wasn't the comp. Keep the comp. But let's go to stadium. Yeah, the speed of the fox can definitely help break up the combos if they're not being distracted. Oh, yeah. Fast, man. That was, that was sneaky. Oh! Opportunity for a ton of damage on Amsa. They get some. I think they get it converted into a kill if they were just a little more in sync. I mean, you have to imagine their Fox and Marth combos are a little more practiced with their double Fox combos. For sure, for sure. And I imagine they don't practice on Yoshi too much either. Yeah. Kind of a kooky character. For a bit sure. of a kookster. For sure. Yeah, okay. QB was, wasn't ready to come over and help him with the uh, getting the, the up smash because he was busy cleaning up the kill on Axe. Right. But he got the kill, and that's what mattered. Right, right. And he's pummeling just extra longer on the Yoshi so that uh, he could get like the kill. Like maybe you could come over, yeah. Oh my god! 
and the opportunism for S Fat, it works out. Right. And this is going a lot better than the first game. Yeah. I think they're just not quite as close to to each other, so they're not in each other's faces. They they had a game plan, but they were maybe like hitting each other a little bit in that first game. Right. The platforms just allow them to like space a little bit better. Oh. Odd uh, reverse oh. up smash. Oh, oh my god, he's sliding everywhere! <laughs> Yoshi's light, light shield still wows me to this day. Yeah, it's crazy. S Fad right there going for the counter shine, doesn't quite get it. Nice save, yeah, but. Yoshi's right there. Is that. Oh wow, yeah. Yoshi's up there, pretty strong. Yeah. Fair recognition from Axe to still clean up that kill even after the Firefox save. Okay. It's like the speed of Fox is really helping. I mean, what we're talking about is that the punish game is so much harder on Fox, but they really figured out that, hey, if we are really aware of certain situations, we can break up each other's combos a lot better. That's right. So you didn't see any long strings or even any edge guard sequences either from Pikachu or Yoshi. And I think that the, the stage one helped them out because they can uh, run around the platforms a little bit better, not be in each other's faces yep. a little bit more apparently. Yep. But they just seemed like they were just a smidge better in that made it a lot big a big difference in how their distance was. Man. But props to them for just sticking it out with double fox. After that first game, that is Yeah, that's, that's ballsy. That's yeah. ballsy. Yeah, for sure. They're uh they're trying to overturn the accepted notion. Yes. Yeah. You know? That they did. We well, yeah, they did. And now Battlefield uh a stage that we saw Hans and Axe try to run against Mutual King and Flub with little success. Mm -hmm. Looks like they've been trying to find their identity in terms of which stages they want to play on versus the long, less platform heavy stages versus the smaller, you know, more top platform yeah. based stages. And kind of see how it pans out. Yeah. Oh! Wow. Oh. Wow. He gets the launcher from, I think that was a Yoshi Porter. Which is kind of curious. Right. Ooh, oh, breaks the it up. save! The drill! Drill of mine. Pierce the evidence. <laughs> yeah, really good at saving each other, man. Yeah. It's adding up quite a bit. You don't really see like more than two or three strings. Oh, this could be. Oh! oh! It could have been and it was. Damn. Wow. Whoa, dude. Wow. They still got that team dynamic. They just needed to change up the pace just a little bit. They just needed a second to, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, just they needed like, a, they needed a minute. They needed to rekindle the flame. They needed some recalibration. Oh, that was a disappointing edge guard from or sorry recovery from PBU. I, PBU is usually, you know, enough of like a kind of a cerebral team player that he knows, you know, there's no real reason to side you to the ledge on two teams because right. it means you're. You're giving away opportunities for your teammate to help, really, right? Right, right, right. Surprised right. he went for that. And was punished. Yeah, they're they're waiting for that kind of situation. Okay. They're having a much easier time in the... Oh. That was good. Yeah. That was they're, mean. They're having a much easier time against the Opsa because both of them have access to Drill now, which makes the neutral so much easier on, yeah. on Yoshi. Drill is a nice move Definitely. against Yoshi. And it, you can like fade it, you can do full jump, and it'll just cover so much of the stage. It actually really works out against this team composition. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Yeah, double fox seemed like the, woo, seeming like the answer. Yeah, man. For these, for these guys, for these nice guys. These kids, the youngins. Oh, oh my yeah. God, their treasure oh, just drilling, no. oh, and no. they're just shining. What is this dinosaur to do? To do that apparently. Too bad. All right. Ah. Right. Uh. Oh <laughs> yeah. no. He That'll needed the ledge there. That'll do it. 
the double fox team. We're gonna real. Oh, is this the double back air into up air? Oh, so pretty. Crazy. Damn. And that also takes advantage of the fact that Amsa, in his like his natural tendency was to go to edge and just throw out a couple eggs. Yep. And just in the span of that couple of eggs, they th they had that huge combo. Yep. Really taking advantage of those situations, man. Oh Q -Q -U. yeah. you S fat. Couple of eggs, man. Couple of eggs. That's what they say. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. I Not was thinking, uh, you know, it's like when life gives you eggs, you <laughs> make an omelet. That's how the saying goes. Yep. Unfortunately, I guess they, I guess they made an omelet. Yeah, I think they, of, they did. Out of Pikachu. With the eggs. Scra oh. Scrambled Pikachu. Yep. God damn. They're having a good time. SFAT and PewPew look really, really comfortable in the way this set is going. Yeah. This might have been, I don't know. They, they mix it up. Sometimes yeah. you just, that's what you need. You just got to flip the script. Yeah. You know, you're looking at everything. You're looking at something from all these angles, but just try flipping it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's as simple as that. <laughs> do, you see what I'm, do you see what I'm saying? I, I do. <laughs> Oh, man. There's just unsurmountable <laughs> pressure right now. <laughs> On uh, Team Axe Omsa. Yeah. This is Pewfat's melee. They really came back from the depths of hell. Yeah, after and, that, after and, that. and honestly, man, the way they've, they've started playing now, it makes it look like they've just made a pact with the devil. It's nuts. Oh, man. That's, that's Pewfat. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Double Fox really working out for them, man. Yep. Really surprised to see it, and props to them for really sticking out to it. Okay. And the way they're controlling the, the platform, too, is really nice. Just everywhere at once. It, it yeah. Not, not allowing Yoshi to do those wave lands as easily. Yep. Oh, Good cancel. Had his jump. Yep, uh, that there's kind of the, the the edge guarding deficiency of Yoshi, where Yoshi has to go back to the stage as soon as he does that forwarder. Right, can't stay off stage too long. And it's not even a confirmed kill because they can uh, cancel it. Yeah, that's right. And in singles, he'd alternatively would he stay on the stage and go for a down smash or a down tilt, but he doesn't have the time for that kind of setup in teams. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. No, no sir. Oh, and now the. Thought they were gonna do the drill, drill, shine, shine. Oh, it's so committing. Yeah, he just he just reacts and he says, "Oh, you're coming out here. Well, then I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a little lower." Right. So. And then Axe has to go out and save him. Yeah, that's oh. one one area where you know, Amsa definitely needs Axe is the the edge guard. I think when mm -hmm. when it comes to those offstage edge guards, like Axe just. Has to be on those. Yeah. That was a really crazy up smash from uh, Axe to hit the platform like that. Wow. Yep. Okay. Oh. Pushes Pikachu away with those jabs, gets the up smash on Amsa. Man, and uh, when they get Amsa in the shield, they just know exactly what to do. They can just pressure him and just wait for either a roll to come out or just go for Pikachu instead because he's kind of trapped in the egg. They're really playing uh, against. Yoshi's deficiencies. He's doing yeah. it quite well. Quite well. Yeah, man. And you see here, like, on the right side of the stage, when SFAT's isolated with Axe, SFAT's been um, a thorn in Axe's side, I think, for a while, and he's very comfortable just scrapping, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Pikachu. He's, he's very good at the matchup. I think SFAT is basically one of the premier foxes in the matchup. Oh, for my sure. God! Oh. Amsa just kind of <laughs> finds a down smash and just <laughs> kills everything. <laughs> Left and right. <laughs> Finds himself standing alone. Man. <laughs> piling oh. on a lot. Oh my god, Amsa, I have no idea how he's still alive. Yeah. Thought he was going to get a second up air after that. <laughs> there yeah. it is. There it is. In between the jabs. Oh. Awesome recovery. You see all the... SFAT's gonna make it hard. SFAT knows how to make it hard for uh, for Axe to, you know, to edge to edge guard him. Oh yeah. He's just been he's been playing this exact matchup for so long though. Yeah. 
Oh no! Axe accidentally uh, air dodges off stage as he tries to tech, and, and now it's just a low in Amsa. Yeah, this is rough. Oh, oh, oh! The flame burns him. And oh, the drill! No, the one hit of drill. <laughs> <laughs> and Axe and Amsa are out at third place. Wow. What is showing from them though? Uh, yeah. These guys are actually even in games because it's three one uh, for Axe and Amsa and winners, three one for SFAT and PPU and, and losers. So it's four four in games between them. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like. PFAT definitely found their answer in the double fox pick. I respect it. I think that uh, it makes, you know, on paper it makes sense, and they put it into practice.